hey guys welcome back to my channel in this video i'll be taking us through how to design our splash screen or onboarding screen as you might call it and i will still try to show us how we can design our login or signing page so i'm going to make use of this logo you are seeing over here i got it online it's something you can go online to and get any of the logo just for practice okay so at first we have to get our frame so so far we are designing for mobile application so we are still in mobile we haven't gone to web application yet so here is the for mobile phones so you get your frame here you can pick any of the frame we have iphone 14 we have the size over here you can pick any so i go for the iphone 14 pro so the first thing to do is just to rename this iphone 14 here i can call it let me say splash you can see the next thing for me to do is just to get my own layout grid so i'm sure we've talked about this layout grid if you are just joining try to check one of our videos i'm sure we've talked about this layout grid so you understand more better so i'm going to change it to let me make use of the column let me change my margin okay so i have to place my logo right here okay and as we all know you might be wondering or you might be thinking that how oh, is it not possible for us to include text or make it more classy the thing is that this on um, splash screen or the onboarding screen as you might call it it's something is a screen that will first show up immediately you open an application and mostly it's always be and um, the logo or just a short um captive text okay it's not something that should be full with text or full with images so it's something that should be that should be minimal and simple so as i place it here i will try to put something here just to make sure just to direct the user just for them to is either they want to swipe or they want to slide or they want to click but i will go to my plugin and make use of my material design icon it's loading so i will make use of let me check for harrow so let me make use of this or better let me make use of this yes Oh, let me go for this thing okay so I'll place it right here you can see so with this I can see I'm done with my splash screen or body screen and at the same time this icon that i make use of you can still try to make use of text by saying maybe get started or anything so far it's simple and the user is going to understand what you are trying to put on your design okay it's something i can try to of the visibility of this grid here you can see so to make use of the to make that to do the next design phase that's for the login screen or the signing screen it's something you can duplicate this frame here or you can still pick the exact frame that you choose initially so i can just highlight on this frame and click on my control d you can see so i can delete this i will still have to rename this maybe to login so let me on the visibility of this grid you can see it here 
so I will try to place this one up here and let me try to reduce the size Okay, let me highlight it. Okay, what next is for me to let me type in a text that will show that okay, this is a login page. Let me change the okay, let me increase the size. Let me leave it at 30. So if I'm designing for mobile. Okay, let me change the regular. Let me leave it at semi bold. Okay. So what next is for us to to draw a shape and to and we all know um, anytime we are or maybe let me say the hub that we are used to. Anytime you want to log in or sign in, there are some details that are already or that we have in mind that okay, we are going to input like for instance it might be email and password and that sometimes it can be um username and password anyone you are using. So I will just have to draw my shape by coming down to this my Two bar here. Let me select a rectangle. You can you see? So let me leave it at 50 here. That's the height. You can zoom it so that you can see it clearly. So with this text. I can say username slash email. So I will have to reduce the size of this text. Let me leave it at fifteen and let me change it here to regular. Can you see? So here is for username and email. So I will have to do for the password now. It's something I can highlight the two together. Then I hold down my alt key. Then you left click and drag. So here I will just type in my password. That is the password text. can see so the next one and mind you anytime you are designing such like this it's necessary because someone that wants to log in it's possible he or she might have forgotten his or her password so there should be a way for them to retrieve their password back so it's something we have to put a text under this our password by saying forget password Forget password. Can then put click here. You can highlight it. Is either to left, to right, or to center? Then I have to reduce the size here. Let me leave it at ten. So this my click here. So far, I'm trying to tell them to click here. It won't be the same color with this forget password. So it's something I will have to. Is it I bold this click here so that it will look different and send the message to the user that they might click here. So far, I try to tell them that if they forget the password, they will have to click here, and I have to make sure I show something to them that they can click. You can see. So what next for me is just to sign in or the login. I'll have to highlight these two again. 
hold down my shift left click and drag then here I can see login by highlighting these two come here to my alignment I'm sure I've talked about this alignment that's why I'm not dwelling much in this aspect so I'm just trying to show us how we can design our home here I will increase the size to 20 you can see this one boot I like the two align again okay and another thing is that we have to so far maybe someone that is just coming for the first time maybe you try to get the help for the first time and they need to register or sign up and here it's showing them to log in so there should be a message to pass to them that they have to sign up or to register in case they want to make use or to have access to the application so you have to make use of this text let me try to duplicate so i can just say i already have an account Let me see. You don't have an account. Then here it will be. Is it a sign up or register any one of your choice that you want to use depending on what you are designing or which application you are designing? So it can be register. So it will be clickable for them so from here it will take them to the sign up or the registration page that you've already created but there should be something that will differentiate between this password email and this login which is we have to make sure make sure that the color here will be different from the ones in password and email depending on the prefers, preferred color that you are using so as it is I can just so far it's just a practice let me just you can make use of the color any color of your choice and make use of black let me change this one to white you can see so we are done with the registration and with the login page but another thing I want you to know is that there are some that they they don't have time to is either to quickly sign up or to type in their username and password. So there should be an alternative way. Because as a designer, you have to think of a way that will make your user it will be easy for your user to access your application and it should be accessible. So as it is, we have to create an alternative way for them to log in. Is it maybe through their social media, their email, or anything that you think of that will be easier for them? So as it is, I can say, oh, let me just draw a line from here. make use of my line that's coming down to this shape here to make a straight line i'll just hold down my shift then drag instead of drawing another one i can just duplicate this by holding down my shift left click and drag you can see and mind you here is our margin so we have to be careful of anything or any element or any design we are putting on our frame. So as it is, I can reduce the 
let it be medium. Wow, it's okay. So with this, I can just insert the options I want them to make use of just to log in to their account. Let me make use of this of this rectangle here, the shape there. With this, I can just let me say, for instance, I want them to log in with their Facebook, that's one of their social media accounts. So you can just come to material design as your plugins. I already have it open, that's why I'm not going to a plugin, so it's already open here already. So search for Facebook. So I can change the color. And as I'm trying to design, if there is anything you don't understand, it's something you can just drop your questions at the comment section. It will be attended to immediately. Okay. So here is the Facebook. Placing it here. So I can just type in my Facebook. And increase the size to twenty five. Okay. So let me make use of one options again I try to duplicate this so let me delete this icon I can make use of let me say Instagram you can log in through their Instagram account see it's out so you can change the color of this Instagram if you are not satisfied with this color. You can make use of red or any color of your choice. Let's say for instance, you will prefer this color. Make use of it and type in Instagram. Let's reduce the size of this to 20. Yes. Okay. Okay. So we are done with this our login page. So let me have the visibility so we can see it clearly from here. Can you see? So there are many ways we can design our login page. So this is just for a beginner. You can try this and do it on your own and see if you can get it. And if not, if there is any question, try to drop it at the comment section. Like I've said before, this channel is for non-beginners. It's for beginners. I mean, for beginners. And those that have no prior knowledge about design before and about this ui ux so i'm sure with this, this just try to subscribe to this channel as we proceed you will understand more better and you have clear broad knowledge about ui and ux design so thank you for watching and have a wonderful day bye